The Lord will come and he will not delay. He will illumine what is hidden in darkness and reveal himself to all the nations. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the community of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. Our brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome. Father Chris here celebrating Mass for Wednesday, uh, Thursday, I'm sorry, Thursday of the second week of Advent. And before we go too much further, for those of you at home, please send me your guardian angels and we'll load them up with the blessings everybody else here is receiving. Guardian angel at my side, go to the church for me, kneel in my place of Holy Mass where I desire to be. At offertory in my stead, take all I am and own and place it as a sacrifice upon the altar throne. At Holy Consecration's bell, adore with Sarah's love, my Jesus hidden in the host come down from heaven above. When the praise communion takes, so bring my Lord to me that his sweet heart may rest on mine, and I, his temple, be. Again, everybody, welcome. Let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Stir up our hearts, O Lord, to make ready the paths of your only begotten Son, that through his coming we may be found worthy to serve you with minds made pure. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I am the Lord, your God, who grasps your right hand. It is I who say to you, fear not, I will help you. Fear not, O worm Jacob, O maggot Israel. I will help you, says the Lord. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. I will make of you a thrashing sled sharp, new, and double-edged, to thrash the mountains and crush them, to make the hills like chaff. When you winnow them, the wind shall carry them off, and the storm shall scatter them. But you shall rejoice in the Lord, and the glory in the Holy One of Israel. The afflicted and the needy seek water in vain. Their tongues are parched with thirst. I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open up rivers on the bare heights and fountains in the broad valleys. I will turn the desert into a marshland and the dry ground into springs of water. I will plant the desert in the desert the cedar, the acacia, myrtle, and olive. I will set in the wasteland the cypress together with the plane tree and the pine, that all may see and know, observe and understand that the hand of the Lord has done this. The Holy One of Israel has created it. The word of the Lord. Amen. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. I will extol you, O oh my God and King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. Let all your works give you thanks, O oh Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. Let them make known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures to all generations. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. Alia, Alia. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a savior. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, Amen, I say to you, among those born of women, there has been none greater than John the Baptist. Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent are taking it by force. All the prophets and the law prophesied up to the time of John. And if you are willing to accept it, he is Elijah, the one who is to come. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Tell you what, sometimes when you listen to Jesus talk, it's like, oh, this makes perfect sense. Sure, I don't need any translation. I don't need any uh, any um, anybody to tell me what it means. But then there are the times where I look at it and I'm like, uh, okay, this makes like no sense. All right, so I mean, here I go. You know, it's like uh, number one, uh, there's none greater than John the Baptist. Yet, in the least in the kingdom of heaven, it's greater than he. Well, how is that possible? It's possible because we're, we're reliant in the New Testament completely upon the will of God, completely upon the person of Jesus Christ. So, so if you recognize it, it's his grace that allows us to change. His grace that does everything. So in the Old Testament, it was by the power of the person that they were getting things done, although they were being told by God. But at the same point, grace is moving more freely, which is why it's the fullness of time when Jesus Christ comes onto the scene. The second thing, and, and probably the biggest one uh, that I really just kind of shook my head at each time I looked at it, and I finally was looking it up today, and it makes sense. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence. Wait, we're talking about heaven. There's no violent acts that happen in heaven. There's no violence in heaven. So what on earth is he talking about? And then it says, and the violent are taking heaven by force. I mean, it says it by force, but it is heaven. And well, how does any violent person take heaven by force? It's not possible. God is in charge. You don't take anything over from God unless God gives it to you. That's it, period. That's what grace is all about. You receive. It's not what you do. It's what you do with the grace, so we are called to love and to serve, and that's through the grace of God that we can do greater things in some cases than what Jesus did here, only because he's with us, only because he's given us the grace, it's only because he has ordained it to happen. Again, nothing happens without God's permission um, in this respect. Nothing happens without God's permission, not with any respect, but that's the, the point. But what he's saying by the kingdom, that, uh, the, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent are taking it by force, makes total sense in that this force is a violence used to do right. It's a violence used, it's, it's, it's everything inside of us to fight against those things that would lead us against God. So the violence that he's talking about is trying to not sin, it's trying to love and serve the neighbor against whatever will or whatever is it broken in our will that causes us to go against what God desires. Because we look at Adam and Eve uh, after yesterday's readings or Wednesday, yeah, uh, Tuesday's readings, uh, because of the, the feast day of the Immaculate Conception. We look at those readings about Adam and Eve, uh, just kind of, oh, this looks good, let's just go ahead and do this thing. They're not following God, and, and so it's, it's harder for anybody that came after Adam and Eve to struggle to the point of saying, I, I'm gonna, I need to do what God is asking me to do, but it takes struggle, it takes, and I think violence in a way is a good word, because it really, when you really look at the word violence, like I, 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 I'm violently fighting against, like I'm showing every ounce of my strength, every ounce of my effort to, to go against whatever it is that might lead me against God. Uh, is what the Lord is talking about. So, so to sort of do that, to see it from that lens, to say, Lord, whatever, it, it, it really dovetails back to, to, to the Immaculate Conception that when Mary gives her full resounding yes, it's like this is an all-out yes. This is a, I mean, you could say it was a violent yes, although from a gentle person. So, so the violence, the definition of violence certainly is, 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 being, is, is the culprit here of what we're looking at. Uh, it's not a violent act to give everything over to God, but sometimes it takes everything in order to do that. For every yes we give, for every yes we stand fast with, it's not just giving a yes. Anybody can give a yes. Most people give yes. Oh, sure, I'll do that thing. Oh, this is a lot harder than I thought. Oh, this is difficult. Oh, man, I'm, 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 I'll, just, I'll just skip out on this one, you know? And it's like, well, no, if you're committed to it, you do it. But uh, at the same point in time, our commitment here is commitment to Christ. Our commitment here is a commitment to grace. It's to receive in the love of God and to be transformed and to spread that message of, of Jesus uh, to the world uh, who desperately needs it, by the way. And I think we all know that. Brothers and sisters, let us now lift up our intentions to our Lord. For the intentions of Pope Francis, for everything our church is doing and should be doing for the salvation of all souls, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For today's Mass intention, for Frida Peretti, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the next group of people in the Mass intention hotline, for Richard Baglow, Chris Randall, 
Willie Onagel, Gerald Morales, Celine Weil, Robin Nillen, Jordan Bates, and Camilla, uh, please pray for her especially, she just had eight screws put into her neck after a massive bone realignment and everything else. So anyway, uh, she's just finishing up um, her surgery today. So please keep Camilla in your prayers. For, for her, for the rest of the people in the current intention hotline, for their families, we pray to the Lord. Lord. For, uh, for everybody struggling in this world, uh, certainly that, that through the struggle, uh, that people would turn their lives over to Christ, recognize his the necessity for him more in our lives. Uh, but certainly everybody struggling for financial issues with the coronavirus, uh, with all the other struggles, cancer, everything else that we deal with as human beings, uh, we pray to the Lord. 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 Is there anything else you guys would like to add today? Lord, Lord, for special intentions and in thanksgiving, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to abortion and for the respect and dignity of all life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, we thank you for hearing all these are intentions. We ask you to always guide us and guard us. Lead us close to you. Send your Holy Spirit upon us so we might be, that we might be revved up for your love, that we might, might access you better, that we might turn our hearts over to you more fully, that we truly might do uh, violence in a nonviolent way uh, to, to attain you better every day of our lives. And we thank you for these gifts and not block you in our lives. And we ask you for this in your name, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice through your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good of all the church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us, and may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. Then when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
Do this in memory of me. In the mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, to St. Mary Magdalene, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the same as command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ. Peace, peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Those of you at home, please join me in an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you. Unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen indeed. <clears throat>
Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. God. Say, Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we come with pray. To thou, O Prince, the heavenly hosts, of the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits, proud throughout the world, seeking for our souls. Amen. God bless you all. Have a great evening and a great rest of your week.